Hey all, welcome back to Skate. I'm in Sedic. With me on this part is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? Matt Rocks 101. Hey, I'm Matt. And Zindictive. Sup, lads. So, once again, uh, we've completed a bit, but now we need to pick a team. All these pros spawn or all these pros spawned with a pro challenge. And so yeah, you need to go and do at least one of those and pick a team to continue on. I'm gonna go do all of them in oh, this video. Shit. So I have my choice, you know? Oh shit, yeah. yeah okay. You yeah. gotta make sure you get only the best in Setic brands. Yeah, cause yeah. why bother getting sponsored by one brand when you can get sponsored by all of them? Well, uh, mm -hmm. You still only get sponsored by one I know, brand. But, but, I mean, but you like, impress all, all the them, other brands, you know? and that's what matters. Yeah. Right, right. You know. I, that was actually going to be my first question, whether or not it would lock you out you once you completed a mission, but that answers that. Yeah. Yep. I think, like, if you do, like, for example, do only one and then say, yes, that's the one that sponsors me, the rest of the challenge is stay there, but you mm -hmm. don't really get anything for going and doing them. Sure. Uh, do you unlock the pro? Like, being able to play as the pro? And oh, yeah, you do. Free well. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you do get something. You just... Right. Yeah. It's just not something right. anyone cares about. <laughs> like, why do I want to play this guy? He's got all the same exact moves as everybody else. Well, I mean, in case you want to play as the pros, and it's kind of cool. You know, they've all, again, are going to show all their sponsors, but even for the ones we already saw, where they, like, gave us a tutorial, you know, there's going to be the, a new pre-recorded thing of them here. And, you know, like, I'm not really in the skateboarding scene, but I gotta wonder... Like, you know, for the for the pros that do have these features here, did the devs try to match up, like, what the pros are actually known for, or their own kind of style with the tricks that they do here, or was it more generic? Uh, just do some cool tricks and put a pro there if that lines up with the spot they spawn. Mm. It might be a mix, yeah. honestly. Like, no, yeah. like, Chris Haslam, what is he, like, really known for? Probably mm. street skating, from what I can yeah. find. Yeah, I mean... It's kind of interesting, you know, like, looking at when there are multiple skateboarding, you know, f series, and again, how professionals can only really be in one or the other, <laughs> you know, from year to year. Yeah. Uh, you know, back when, like, Tony Hawk was just starting, and there were different pros in Tony Hawk 1 versus Grind Session versus MTV Sports featuring Andy McDonald, you know, where yeah. here, like... Yeah, the Tony Hawk series was still running, and that had the biggest names. I mean, the names everyone knows, like, you know, Tony Hawk, Bob Burnquist, Rodney Mullen. But a lot of the guys here in skate, again, I'm not really part of the skating scene, but I have heard their names over the years. Right. You know, like Chris Haslam, Chris, Chris Cole, basically if they've been on the Nine Club, I've seen their name at least once, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like, huh, maybe they got some guys who are, you know, kind of early in their careers, but then doing stuff across the next years, rather than, like, again, Tony Hawk, sorry if this is just a tangent, but, uh, y you know, I remember, like, when the Tony Hawk 1 and 2 remastered came out, you know, a couple years ago at this point, and they, you know, got a bunch of the older guys back for a PR event. Some of them, it was like, oh my god, they're still alive? Like, Kareem yeah. Campbell, I haven't seen him do anything in forever. Yeah. Though well, I'm sure the Kareem Campbell stands will... <laughs> Correct you on that, right? Yeah, but, someone. Uh, no, nobody had seen Kareem Campbell, Campbell for years at this point. I'm serious. It, was it really was like a, a surprise that he was back. He'd been like That's radio nice silent for a back. while. Yeah, and to be fair, like when it comes to all the skaters who were in the skate series who would end up being part of Tony Hawk, I mean, we got Chris wow, Cole, man, and mm, Chris Cole, I think, is like one of the bigger names out of this, including Rob Deerdeck, who. It's like the MTV guy in yeah, a way. Yeah, I was gonna say he had an yeah. MTV show at the time, yeah. I believe, when this was coming out. Yeah, yeah. big ass you skate know, park and all. The more I learn about people, uh, or learned about people like uh, Mark Gonzalez, I was always wondering why Mark Gonzalez wasn't in Tony Hawk. To be honest, because he was—he's an old school guy that was like really famous. Hmm. Uh, pioneered a lot of like handrail stuff in the streets. Um. And, uh, it was really weird that he wasn't in Tony Hawk, but someone like Rodney Mullen was. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Mullen's it's kind of man. interesting what, like... Mullen's the man, yeah, but, like, I think a lot of, uh, Mark Gonzalez's stuff is really impressive. But uh, he's always seemed a bit, uh, I eccentric, think... I guess, so we should be probably impressed that he appeared in this game at all. I mean, honestly, it sounds to me like this is a matter of, uh, you know, that they have a certain amount of budget to pay f to license these skaters. 
and they want to spend their money on the people that are, are most well known. Yeah, most well known, maybe most influential, or you know that kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because it is like, like they don't have a limited budget. Yeah, oh, I know. yeah like yeah. you mentioned, Mark Gonzalez. It's also kind of funny. Sometimes you know what games get kind of the the old school guys. Like again, like Grind Session had several of kind of like the old school names, like John Cardiel. Uh, yeah. Y you know, specific to that. And then, of course, someone like Paul Rodriguez <laughs> seems to jump series, you know, from year to year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I, I've i heard, I remember, yeah, Chris Cole was, like, skater of the year several times over the last decade. And, I mm. to get a yeah, I mean, Robin Big was online. the MTV show. I didn't watch those, but it was kind of like, right, like, sort of the equivalent of Ryan Checkler, you know, yeah. over in the Tony Hawk group. Yeah. Yeah. So, I didn't catch... Okay, so hit three of six lunges, do a line worth 600 points. Yeah, just get overall 600. How does it determine that something is a line rather than... Um, it's a timer. Oh, okay. It's yeah. a timer you get down off... to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So what it is, is you do something, you do like a trick, and then it goes up, you'll see it goes up to the 1.5, and it stays oh. there for like one or two seconds. And if you don't do anything, it drops down again, and that's... Oh, your okay. combo, basically. Yeah, it's a bit now, like is SSX. it dropping down continuously, but you can kind of get it back up, or is it oh, like it uh, just when drops it starts to dropping zero? Down, you can do another trick to get it back up again. Uh, the higher it goes, I think the faster it'll drop as well. Okay. So like when it goes to the three, you better do like a couple tricks really fast because it'll drop down to the two again and then done. Oh, the okay. One. Basically, okay. just drop like down again. start doing tricks and then keep doing tricks and don't yeah. do anything sketch or bail. And don't do sure. the same thing okay. twice, because they're worth less. Yeah. And if there's one other thing I know about this game, that this game loves its speed, and al already we're going oh, to yeah, a skateboarder who fast. loves being fast. Yeah, make sure... Oh, I yeah. think tricks are worth more if you're going faster, which yeah. I think makes that sense in this, because it's much harder to control this game when yeah. you're going fast. That makes sense. Yeah, so, like, I don't know much about, what, D Dennis Busenitz, um, yeah, but the all. game... And his, like, one or two lines of dialogue are like, Hey, man, I don't care what you do as long as it's fast. I don't care what you do. <laughs> yeah, there. As as we this man. Wow. Quote, word word. 47, 2022, quote, Dennis Busenitz, 2007. Yeah. yeah. The one thing I know about him yeah. is he likes speed. I and now we get the uh, interesting <laughs> wall riding this game has. Oh, this challenge sucks so much, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Even Ryan the Roof. It's not like there's any real wall riding mechanics, but there's the game not, does no. kind of let you ride something if you can, so hmm. it's kind of doing some sort of hybrid thing, and then also the AI keeps getting in your fucking way, but. What yeah, it tries to is... do is, like, it tries to magnetize you to a rideable surface yeah. if oh. you are at the right angle. Which sometimes is good, and sometimes it'll fucking stick you to the wall when you're trying to land on the ground and will make you bail. Yeah, but no matter who the hell you are, you will always end up hating the pedestrians. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember uh, I used to just play in free skate with all the ped pedestrians off so I could yeah. just yeah. land cool tricks, because that's what I cared about the most. Yeah, I always have fun just pissing oh. them off and knocking them down and such. Or, uh, like you saw in that video, knocking them over. <laughs> <laughs> Is, uh, so, are the pedestrians, like, in, in any way a gameplay mechanic, or are they just there as scenery? No, they're just, just there as scenery. They don't get in your way. If wow, you got that really enough. fast. Yeah, oh, they nice. become a gameplay mechanic later on, but right now they're just well, right an now obstacle. They're... Oh, man, you gonna Wait, sign into the decided... EA Nation? Yeah, don't you're you want to sign into the EA Nation? Nation and fucking you be part put of it Adidas? up on their dead servers that you can't access anymore? Yeah, I can't. They w It won't even complete the sign-in, because... The you can't. You're not gonna go yeah. onto their 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 servers that have long since been decommissioned and post your sick skate video like I did when I was 12. Hey, yeah, wow. that's. I mean, that's how you get some of those achievements. Is yeah, it? There are achievements for like upload five clips. Oh, Fun fact. Ten nice. clips. Fun fact. When this game came out on PS3, uh, it did not have achievements because the PS3's trophy system didn't work for these kind of games yet. So yeah. I didn't get any achievements for playing this game on PS3. It had none. Yeah. Those weren't added until hey, Skate 2 and later ones. There he is. My man, Chris Cole. The yeah. man whose look always changes in every game. Chris Cole. Oh, yeah. He keeps you like, guessing, you know? You yeah. mentioned that, yeah. He's like the the Jamie Thomas kind of of this series, where, like, 
you'll follow his arc from what here having like long hair to being bald or whatever. Yeah, being like short hair and more beard. It was kind of like following, yeah, Jamie Thomas across Tony Hawk 1 through 4 of starting out bald and then by 4 having, like, the longest hair of any of the guys. And then he goes back to being bald. <laughs> Looking like Jesus. Yeah. So what you want to do here is get out. What you want to do here is you want to not bail. What you want to do. Is your cameraman a real person? Like, yeah, he's, he's a real guy. The Reda, thing, Reda, yeah, Reda, Reda is like the guy that's always your camera for like. And he's the a first real person games. in real life. Yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, oh, okay. he was a uh, photographer uh, and film guy. Like, like he he did a lot of camera work for escape videos mm. and oh, a lot of photography okay. for escape videos. So, like him being your cameraman, like makes he's sense. also one of my favorite people in this game because he, his quips are always just kind of enjoyable to hear sometimes and you know what's funny is uh people hated this guy a lot so in skate 3 they got rid of him and they replaced oh. him with like a guy that doesn't talk as much because one of the big complaints in skate 1 or 2 is wow reddit never shuts the fuck up mm. comments on everything i do so in skate 3 when you get there they'll give you like a guy that doesn't talk at all except going whoa sometimes <laughs> when you bail oh. I, that's why i, I don't, don't like I skate 3 think... much because yeah. reddit I enjoy Reddit I so him. much, I miss him. I thought, he, I thought it was a cute addition, but yeah, it seems I mean, like everyone else hated him, so they got rid of him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Man. it's like, your guy doesn't talk, so it's cool right. to have someone there, and even when Reddit does talk, he doesn't talk a lot, and it's kind of cool, like, when you ride by the other skaters or the pros, and he's just like, oh, hey, what's up, Chris, or, you know, yeah, it's, Eric, it's nice so to weird. You the issues people took with these early games and, like, what was removed because people didn't like it, like, I wonder how much stuff, like, actually was that big of a deal, like, Reddit talking, you know, like, like, was it actually that bad, or were people so, just whining? May, may, hold on, maybe whining. I'm confused. You're talking about the cameraman, meaning, like, the game's perspective? Yeah. Yes. yes. Is like a character in, he's in a, the world. He's a guy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. And Remember that opening cutscene? Does, it, the does guy... that technically make this a second person game? Kinda. Kinda. Yeah. Cause he is the one who's filming everything. Cause it's not like an omniscient third person view, it's like an actual diegetic, like it's in... Yeah. Like he's yeah, in the yeah, he's you around. Yeah. And that's been a huh. thing for all the skate games. That's cool. Yeah. And all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why the right. camera's so low to the ground, I guess, is right. the lore reason. I was just thinking, you. yeah, I was just thinking it was a stylistic choice, but it's actually uh, supposed to be someone following you. Yeah, it is a story yep. reason. Interesting. Yeah. Now, what if he was following you on foot? <laughs> oh my God. He'd be tripping all over the place. And then he might, jogging. he might still be omniscient, considering whenever you do a film challenge and pass it, then all of a sudden the replay is from a bunch of different angles around you. Well, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Like, invisible cameras that were always just around you. But no, I, I mean, don't, he's got, I mean, we're seeing it from this perspective, but he's got a yeah, huge cool. camera set up. Yeah, I don't have a problem around. with it. I, yeah. I have one percent, you know, that's how much I care about Reda maybe talking too much compared to the 100 percent of, like, some of this game's challenges, you know? Yeah. Right, yeah. That's yeah, the, there are, that's other, the one there are thing. much bigger things to, to complain about. But that, that's what I'm talking about. One like, it's character weird the things, talks a little bit too much. It's weird the things that people back then were like, oh, I can't stand this. This needs to change. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. I just remember on forums, people whining about Retta. And so in Skate 3, they were like, okay, well, we got rid of him. So shut the fuck up. Stop whining about him. <laughs> I, so I do weird. remember some people actually miss Retta. They, they did not like the new guy that came because he was just like dead silent so Man. much. It just yeah. felt and He off. didn't talk at all, and they said it's because people complained. And it's like, okay, well. Just can't win him. <laughs> I feel like it lost a lot okay, of its... I have uh, nothing more to say about this. Yeah. Lo Why lost a lot doing? of personality. I know, I'm talking about Skate 3 and Skate 1. It's whatever. I'm sorry. We can go back to I Skate think, 1 now. I, I, I gotta say, I love Jerry's, uh, Jerry's intro. He just goes like, hey, it's Jerry. Hey, hey guys, Matt here. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm exist. Jerry. What's up? <laughs> yeah, Jerry's the quiet kid in the back of the class who will then <laughs> go and slam. Who, it is. who will then go and slam an FS kickflip, uh, you know, at the 7-Eleven parking lot later that yeah. day. Wow, we're about to get wow. itchy skated. This is his favorite spot to skate, man. Yeah. You know, that's another thing. I've I heard that at least like. 
the Skate Free City was, excuse me, a, like an amalgamation of real life spots, but is like San Vanalona supposed to be as well? A little bit. Yes, it is essentially a combination of like four different areas. I forgot what they all were, but San Francisco well, is one of them. downtown is supposed to be New York, uh, the, yeah, the New Rez York. is, uh, San Francisco. Um, fuck, I can't remember. I think the, the, I almost said Green Hill Zone. <laughs> yeah. The suburbs is supposed to be like, um... Based on Green Hill Zone, yeah. Yeah. I always want to call it Green Hill Zone because it's got hills in it and it's green. Which and it's is apparently zone. all it takes, all it takes for me to call something Green Hill Zone. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's the, you know, classic way of building one of these, you know, skateboardable open world cities is, you know, just take a mm. bunch of popular spots in real life. But, you know, compared to how, like, often and obviously... Tony Hawk levels would take certain spots. You're like, oh, that's Carlsbad. Oh, that's the, was it like the El Toro 25 stair or something? You know, yeah. like mm. I, I'm riding around San Vanalona, and it's not like anything ever really obviously comes to mind. Yeah, mm. but, but again, I'm not in the skate scene or whatever. But again, I, I like back in these Tony Hawk, you know, like indirectly lifted. You know, I think a lot of these are homages, if that makes sense. Like Hawaii or Vancouver, and it would be like someone would make comparison videos showing, uh, you know, the the uh, things places they took. You know, mm, is yeah. there anything like that for San Vanalona? I'm sure. I'm but sure was, somebody's got. Something I was like saying that. a lot of these are uh, homages, but I don't think any of these are direct. I feel like of real life stuff. Parts of these are taken from the real thing and then just placed in whatever for cool spots and such. I mean, later skate games for sure took real life places, right? Mm. Like, so it wouldn't surprise me if this is something. Did they? I'm I pretty sure there is Didn't a spot they... here that's actually the like a real spot that is only in this game. I forgot what it was, but it definitely is in this game. It is like a real location. Okay. I guess the comment section will need to answer this. Didn't yeah. one of the skate games get? In trouble oh, for oh um for some the of them Holocaust had DLC memorial? that had no some of them yeah, had DLC that's that had real three. places yeah, yeah that's in that's in, in skate three. three okay yeah as I know some of them had so, skate I mean, yeah, two real... and three had DLC that were real places mm. okay that's that must be what I'm they had oh, yeah, the DLC skate three yeah so yeah I I I don't want to complain about my experience with this game too much but this mission sucks <laughs> right here it's just and i think i'm about to get it right here yeah but yeah. it was so hard to figure out what would get me 500 points and yeah. maybe that's the thing i need to figure out like you know we talked in one of the first videos about how hey you know you came into amped 2 not really liking it and then you learned to like it maybe one of the things i really need to figure out is how many points does anything get you here mm. because it's really hard to know especially when you know a lot of stuff deliberately doesn't give you multipliers you know like in a best trick contest or something like that mm. you're not going to be getting any multiplier so how much does a varial kick flip into a short little manual into like if I try to get another intermediate or advanced trick go, you know. Hmm. I, I yeah. wanna say for that type of challenge in particular that sucks because it's not asking you to do a line that's that many points. It wants you to do specifically a combo that's that many points. Yeah. Because as soon as you land not in a manual, it doesn't matter anymore. And those are really frustrating because this game was not designed around one continuous combo as much as its trick system was designed around lines. So yeah, anything that asks you to get are... 500 points on just one specific object all at once is going to be really irritating. Manuals are a finicky thing because with these games. Yeah, they're finicky and there's not much room to do them anyway. Yeah. Or like a we manual grind, like, last time. Well, yeah. what's there to grind on there? Like, a little bit you can grind on. What you're supposed so to do is... I thought you got the right number of points a couple of times, but it didn't give you the challenge? Because you weren't because doing it on the book. The book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you have to, it like, was the final thing what has to be on, what on, the was on the book. Yeah. Weird, okay. Yeah. You had to do, like, land on the book and then do it off of the book. Oh. So, like, yeah, it, okay. and, like, so is Ryan Smith, does that, like, who, does anyone know anything about him? Because I don't. No. Is he known no, for, like, I... crashing a lot or something? It was kind of weird that his <laughs> pro had intro had him bail a bunch when the other pros don't, you know? Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Never heard of him. Okay. 
Well, someone um, will educate us. I'm sure. So yeah, then also as you see, sometimes part of any challenge that involves getting chased by security is well getting them to notice you. Uh, <laughs> so that first time. Again, I guess overall it's good that security isn't laser vision focused on you and sees you immediately whenever you enter a no skate zone. But sometimes it is like, okay, they're maybe a little too blind. Yeah. Yeah. I would have, if I were making, you know, tweaking this or like doing a patch or something, I would up the detection of the security, no, but only during missions where you need oh, to get yeah. their attention. Okay. To yeah. be I'm fair, the that. AI isn't like. The smartest tool in the shed. Sure, uh, to be but fair, I mean, like, if you don't, if you want it balanced for like regular gameplay, you would just lower the sensitivity. But during the ones where you're being asked to do it, you know, that shouldn't be a. That's like that really has nothing to do with how well you play the game. You know yeah. what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out something controversial. I would remove these fucking zones entirely from the game because they're barely utilized. Like, other than a few missions, you find them out in the world, and they're just like, Oh, okay, I guess mm. there's cool stuff here I can't get to, so let me go into Free Skate, so I can and fucking not there. deal with it. Yeah, like, I mean, The like, only reason they really exist is, like, a few challenges, and I guess some variety, but I could live without that variety. I think these zones mm. are stupid, and I don't know why they're in the game. Yeah, some video challenges will require you to be in a no-skate zone, but... Yeah, I know some of the um, challenges do, but other than those challenges, there's, like, nothing to these used. zones. I mean, that's, not used. <laughs> that's that's going to be something they're going to play around with in the next games, right? Like, Skate 2, the city starts out basically, like, locked down to skateboarding, yeah. and you have to take the grind blockers off everywhere and shit, and then Skate 3 just doesn't care. Yeah, and I think Skate 3 did it better because, like, the grind blocker stuff and everything is, like, you just do it once and it's gone, but the no-skate zones are always still there. You can just pay Big Black to yeah, the, the uh, grind fend blockers, off guards. Yeah, the grind blockers, but I like the exploration and, like, being able to open up I, more areas, like the pools and yeah, such. I like finding like pools to drain. I thought yeah. finding pools to drain was cool because, like, that's not something you were going to be able to skate anyway. It's not like somebody went out of their way to stop you from skating there. It's just like, there's a pool and somebody was using mm. it. And now it's my skate <laughs> zone. Those naturally you. generated pools that someone's like, hey, we got to fill this with water so no one <laughs> thinks to come and skate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, honestly so feel like, like, like... I didn't feel like I was getting locked out of content that I had to unlock. I felt like it was new content that was being added, you know? Yeah. Mm. And honestly, like, the exploration in these games got so much better when Skate 2 came Came in because it's kind of barren in Skate One. Mini -map. Why can't get rid of the helpful mini map in Skate Two? True, but they add a lot more to exploring around and doing stuff, so you're not just like yeah. teleporting everywhere and not getting much. I I will fight whoever got rid of that. You see that mini map in the top right? Look at it; it's beautiful. You can see every building. You can see where the road is. You can see where you can't yeah. access and everything. Sure, there's like icons and maybe a little distracting, but you can see where the road is, where there's paths. In Skate 2, it's just icons and there's nothing else there. Mm -hmm. And it's also, like, wow, that is completely worthless. Also, Why I even have a minimap at that rate? I know. I 100% don't blame you for struggling on the Nolly 360 flip, by the way. When it comes to yeah. the more precise moves that you have to do for some challenges, yeah. those can be a real pain in the ass. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that. That looked. I would not have been able to. Do I, I, that. I will say Just, one thing though. It, uh, God, go ahead. Nolly 360 flip is going to become the easiest trick in the world by the end of this, probably because the end of the series? if you're trying to do any other flip trick, you're going to accidentally do a Nolly 360 flip by the end of this, <laughs> yeah. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah, it, it was just a single, like, really obvious, putting it out there naked, in your face moment of like, mm -hmm. all you need to do is do this one specific trick at, and jump at the right time so you just land in the rail. And that will just, like, nakedly put it out there how often I try to input that and end up doing a Nolly, you know, 360 shove it, or a Nolly variable flip. Right. And, uh, yeah. Like, I, I get it, it's a revered series, we can't bitch about this too much, but, like, just, again, out there, literally, like, you saw the entire process of how long it took me to just put all that together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think... Don't but we can't bitch about this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I can I go back real quick? You guys were talking about the mini map. I was thinking, wouldn't it be kind of cool if like a skating game had like you know big open world and the mini map, and the mini map had maybe a view or maybe the natural view of it would be sort of a heat map of lines that you've gone or like other players have gone in the city, and then you could get like I don't know like a sense of like cool lines maybe. 
from the well, map, you look at the map and you see, oh, there's a lot of people going through this section, going through this way. Maybe I'll do something cool there. I well, I mean, know. eventually you'll be able to make your own lines in a way with the uh, true, yeah. create a spot thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then Skate 3 had create a park, which was awesome. Hmm. Zen, did you ever do the slalom parks that people put online? Yes. Where it would just be like a survive, <laughs> just try and not bail. <laughs> They'd start you out at the Ride top and it'd be like a, a big, a big Ride like, die. Uh, death, death spiral. Me and my yeah. friends, I guess what they call like obstacle courses. Yeah. Obstacle I, I course kinda maps. like those. I love those. <laughs> I, I'm so sad all the servers are gone because I love those obstacle yeah, courses. Yeah, and maps. I'm also sad a lot of the DLC is gone because there was some good stuff with the DLC, like. Rob yeah. Deerdeck's giant ass park in Skate 2 is honestly one of the best things about Skate 2. Like, it's yeah. so fun to skate around and make massive air and tricks in. Hey! That's our boy! It's our boy! Yeah. yeah. Ali Bulala. I don't know much about him, but he. well, is skating in like a suit and a top hat. I was talking about skate looking stylish. Yeah. I, I always thought he was the coolest one. I always picked him for free skate. Because he had that suit. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, this is where you can do some of that really broken stuff, uh, which is in the game right here. This thing right here. See that uh, thing above you? Yeah. Um, you know what? what is you that? That wall above you? If you can glitch up onto that wall and then you can drop in from a ledge you're not supposed to and get like a million points. <laughs> Weird. To be yeah. honest, sometimes the glitch stuff can be entertaining, especially when it came to like Skate 3, because if it weren't for how much of a buggy mess that was, we wouldn't have someone like Helix Snake in there and the yeah. amazing compilation of glitches that he made. Like, yeah, yeah, absolute humor gold. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, it's one of those things where it's gonna be, uh, you know, long way from the from the glitches of Skate One, where you just get up somewhere you're not supposed to, and so you could drop down, get a bunch of points, to like jumping into a flattened out T-Mobile sign, embedding half your body in there, launching a mile into the air. <laughs> yeah. You know. All right. It's so weird. so, uh, so yeah. sorry. We no good. We did all the pro challenges, and so we have our pick of sponsors. We. Just go back to the skate shop and go over to the lounge, and we'll pick one. Oh man, I'm really I, I'm, I'm hoping you pick the one I want, but I, I'm not gonna say. I don't wanna say. About to find out. Yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not like I'm in the skateboarding scene, so I didn't really have, like, oh, I I know these are the wheels I'd really yeah. want. This is the board sponsor I'd really want. Well, fair or enough. Yeah. Also showing this off because, well, Bob wasn't there in the part three video, so mm -hmm. seeing the skate shop and kind of how that is for the first time. and It's really cool. So, yeah, there's also some sponsorship videos, but I didn't want to add all of those, you know, mm. onto this as well. Is there money so, in this game? I don't yes, remember. Well, okay, I kind of like almost sports, so that's who I picked. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping almost for perfect. Flip. Now you have to wear the brand, and then you get extra money for wearing your sponsored brand, correct? Yep, that's right. Nice. Okay, right. Yeah, so since we picked almost, now we can go back to the, you know, create a skater, and if we go over to the board or like to our T-shirt, the board is the one that's going to matter. But we also got free like T-shirts from our sponsor. Is, yes. Oh, that's uh, it. Okay. Now, like a bunch of these are free. Like we don't have to pay for them because, well, we're they're our team. <laughs> oh, right. Sure. It's the team we're on. We picked almost. Yeah. And so, yeah, if we ride a board for the, you know, board sponsor that we picked, they'll give us a little bit extra cash for every mission we complete. Same for when we get sponsor a, us, a truck will. sponsor, a wheel sponsor, or mm. uh, uh, what's the fourth? A shoe sponsor. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, That's then... Cool. Yeah, I can I can pick a shirt and those are those are free. Those some of them are still locked until later. That's a game. that's a really nice way to to include progression in the game. That makes sense. That's yeah, and there's nice. some like really good customization in the game too. Like a lot of the stuff in here is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, so just it, it, the it sponsor happiness thing at the bottom. Yeah. Basically, yeah. if they're green, you have uh, you're using the sponsor you have for that part. Right mm. on. Which, I mean, makes sense, like, because they would pay me yeah. extra to ride, like, that's what sponsoring is. They're paying yeah, yeah. me to walk around with their brand. 
Walk so it's, board. It, it, it makes sense that they would, uh, yeah. you know, if you ride their boards when they sponsor you, they would pay you for that. That is how that yes, sponsorship yes. works. <laughs> I'm a becoming a motherfucking corporate sellout, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's why the, the next, big, next big Disney acquisition is the Insetic 47 brand. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Finally d- becoming d- a pro now. Yeah, I am. all my content will move exclusively to Disney Plus. Yeah. Oh Whatever. man, I I I want that so bad. I want to see Insetic Forty Seven on Disney Plus right oh, now. Oh, you think <laughs> I could do one of those things that they did back in the day, where they could film me and I could stand there and I can make the the Mickey Mouse symbol out of the? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think yeah. there'd Let's be a, a Disney since, Channel movie. Since you're owned by Disney, I think there's probably nothing wrong with you just doing it at the beginning of your videos, <laughs> just <laughs> because you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I really want to get sponsored. <laughs> the my... next skate part is going to start up. It's going to be, hey, there, bitches! It's in City Forty Seven. You're watching me on Disney Plus. I love I, that. I make the mouse. I love simple. that it starts with, hey, there, bitches. Yeah, do a kiss up over the fucking duck. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Plus After Dark. Wow, Plus what? After dark? What? I would I would watch after that. After Dark. I I'm gonna show what Disney Goofy Plus Skateboard really is like. Yeah. Yeah. I would <laughs> brand myself literally with a you know hot iron brand for my sponsor, <laughs> but no way am I gonna tone back the language. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You die. know what? They wouldn't want you to. That's the insetic right. brand that they paid for. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, you can't stop Disney, dude. All right. So, yeah, we got our brand. And so now we continue doing stuff for the skateboard mag. But next time, we'll also be really starting up the thrasher side of the game and getting that going. So, all right. See you then.